Hi everyone. In the previous session, we have seen the concept of how to push your source code from local repository to remote repository without adding a collaborator with the help of a, a command called push command. And if you wish, if you wish to pull that source code, then you will use a command called pull command. Okay. But before going to perform push operation, pull operation, compulsory you need to have to set configurations and you need to add your remote repository to your system. Okay, fine. Guys, sometimes what will happen is sometimes multiple multiple people are trying to work with uh, same system, then your credentials need to be changed. So for that, what we can do is we can go for control panel in the Windows operating system. I am explaining. In the user accounts, you will have here credential manager. Here we'll have an option called Windows Credentials. If you click on Windows Credentials, you can observe here GitHub credentials are added. If you wish to delete that, you can remove that. So that for the further operations, it will ask for once again for authentication purpose. Okay, fine. This is what we have seen in the previous session. Now in this session, we'll see how to synchronize your local repository with remote repository with the help of a collaborator. With the help of a collaborator. Okay, nice. Fine. First thing I have, I would like to revise the two points here. Whenever I am trying to create a repository, I explain two points. One is public, another one is private. Another one is private, right? See, when we are setting our repository as public, let me go through that slide. See, you can observe here when we are setting your repository as public, anybody when anybody can view your source code, what is there in that repository, and anybody can download what is there in the repository. But they, they can't add or they can't edit the data unless he or she is a kind of a collaborator. This is the feature of public. Coming to private, in if you set your, your repository as private, nobody can't view it can't download it, can't add or edit the data unless he or she is a kind of collaborator. Fine. If you remember these two points, then we'll go ahead with further explanation. Okay. Guys, nice. uh, what I will do is, so while I have created this RGUKT repository in the previous session, I made it as public. I made it as public. Now what I would like to do is, uh, I would like to take one more system, one more system from that system. See, observe, I will go for settings. For setting, I will check for collaborators. Right now, there are no collaborators for me. Now, I will take one more system. I will try to upload, I will try to push data into this repository, this RGKit repository. Okay, fine. So that you will get an error because uh, that particular system is not a collaborator for me. So you will get an error. Let, let's see that, how to, how to do that. So before going to... Uh, push the data, what we require? We require to compulsory have authentication, right? So with, with the help of some URL, HTTPS URL. I am taking this URL. Yes. So guys, first what I will do is, uh, I will try to clone uh, my repository to this website. See, for example, whenever you are trying to up update the data in the repository, what you need to do compulsory? You need to have to compulsory I have taken that point clearly. You can observe. Whenever you would like to push some data to uh, Git repository, you have to make it branch, then you have to push. So that there is no problem. Admin can check it and they can merge it if he required. Or else, you can completely pull the re complete repository. Then you can update your local repository with the remote repository code. Then you can able to write your own source code. Then you can able to push the data. Okay, this is the operation unit, right? Now here I would like to do push operation. So for push operation, what I will do is, first I need a simple solution. First I will access this entire source code with the help of a pull command. If I am trying to perform pull command, what will happen here? Uh, here you will get an error because, because he don't have any kind of collaborator operation, collaborator. But he can able to download right as because this is a kind of a public report. Public report. So I will try to access from the other system. You can observe here. I will try to clone it. Git space clone. You have to add this one. 
https colon github dot com slash jaya nojbe slash rgkt dot git rgkt dot git this is the way you can able to clone your data okay fine if i press enter it is cloning you can observe guys here you can observe it is completely cloning in which which folder you can observe that i am going to open in uh, vs code what are the thing that i have cloned that i am going to open in the vs code Wait for a while. I am trying to open that folder. Yes, I have selected the folder. See, what are the repository name? That repository name it is going to completely download it. You can observe, guys. Here, I have two files. Here I have two files. One is CSS.html, another one is index.html. Both files are cloned in this system also. You can observe index.html with the same code and CSS.html. Okay, this is the way you can able to clone your uh, source code by anyone if the repository is a kind of public. Okay, or else you can go for here directly. They can access our uh, uh, folder directly how we can do that means you can go for you can go for here in github or else i can go for google here itself github.com something like i am trying to enter my repository name if you know the repository name that repository name i can able to access jaya nojbi jaya nojbi i can directly enter Or else I, I can go with directly github.com as they are right they know they know my repository they can able to directly access because it's a public if it is private they won't able to visualize all these things also they can't able to download okay fine so here which kind of a project they would like to download for example they would like to download rgkt because it is public they can able to view it right so they can able to view and they can able to download also the by simply going here option you can able to download in the form of zip file by clicking here it will be downloaded in the form of zip file or the way another way is what they can do if they are uh, uh, if they know the commands of git they can able to use with the help of clone command they can download so this is the process what we did so far okay this is the way they access it is because of it is public repository okay now i will once again move to the source code visualization what i have downloaded here now from here what i would like to do is uh, in the csc.html or let me take in the index.html i would like to modify this color to once again orange color i have saved this file save this file now i am trying to check its status i'm sorry it is, i have changed it to orange color and I am trying to change its status. You can observe, I am trying to change its status, check its status. So it is modified. It is modified. Now what I would like to do, I would like to push it to the repository, right? So then what I will do is, I will go for first adding in, uh, converting untracked file into tracked file. Then I will go for converting it into local repository, git space, add space, hyphen M, orange color added orange color added i made it convert into a kind of local repository now you know the command for pushing the data we can we can we can go use command called 
git space push push hyphen new origin slash master you can you can add it this right so i will do that git space push hyphen new which means for upstream the name of the uh, branch of the uh, corresponding uh, remote repository from which you push so by default uh, my my branch is master if i am trying to perform push operation right up there if i press enter right up there permission to jan ujvidu so and so to s170209 is denied it is because of unable to access because here he is not a collaborator as he is not a collaborator if you go for collaborators collaborators as he is not a collaborator he can't able to add the code directly into my repository okay when he can be able to do it means if he is a valid collaborator then only he can able to add okay but he can able to clone he can able to view as is a public repository now what i will do is i will try to add the people here Zero nine. Okay. Yes, I am trying to give invitation to the collaborator. I have given invitation, right? So it is waiting for awaiting for the response from the third party person. So what I will do is, I will go for the mail of the respective person. Yes, guys. Here we got the link to accept. Yes. Here we got something like uh, Jaya Nojbedo invited you to collaborate so for so on so repeat. Then you can go for clicking on simply view invitation. If you want to accept invitation. then you can able to accept that invitation if you want to decline then you can able to decline that invitation okay so i am trying to accept invitation so that i can able to collaborate from my end also so from now onwards i myself also act as a kind of collaborator here you can observe here once i refresh once i refresh now we are the collaborator one one person has access to this repository and he is a kind of collaborator kind of collaborator now the same person whatever the error that we got the same person can able to do the same task now onwards yes now you can observe guys here if he is trying to push the same data once again push space hyphen u origin master observe guys it is automatically pushing the data something like uh, remote resolving deltas branch master setup to track remote so it is success from master to master it is added if you if you refresh the folder you can observe s170209 orange color added the code which the collaborator trying to add that will be updated you can observe in the index.html you can observe the orange color is added this is the way you can able to collaborate you can able to parallel work but the thing is what i said in the previous session you should not do this kind of process you have to create one branch through that branch you have to update then only the then only our code won't be lost it is not lasting you will get some kind of confuse every time so what i will do is if i i will try to create one branch from here git space branch so list of branches what i am going to check now i am trying to create uh, one new branch with the help of shortcut command called checkout command otherwise you can go for a git space branch here you can have here you can have these are the two ways you can able to do hyphen b for example let me go for new color the branch name is a uh, new color i am trying to enter yes i has switched to new now i'm trying to add it to the to person now i'll make it as commit so i think there is no commits operation right now git space commit hyphen m okay 
so guys what i will do is uh, i didn't add any modification right let me modify something i will come back to reset from untracked file to tracked file i will uh, from tracked file to untracked file i will come that is what i am using the command called reset command now if you, if you take the status that will be in untracked that will be untracked now hmm. now what i will do is i will go for adding it to pink color pink color if i check the status that will be untracked now what i will do is i will go for adding i will go for commit hyphen m pink color add pink color add now what kind of modifications we did so far we have added something now i would like to push if i push from or uh, push you have to make it upstream make it upstream to which one the name is uh, origin is origin that can be anything and you have to give generally you are going to give master right but i don't know if i am giving master that will automatically update in the main main uh, main root so i don't want to go for i would like to act, add this a branch then uh, the problem will be solved from our end so guys you have to go through the previous session if you want to make it clear for you origin from which uh, fall uh, which branch i would like to create new color the branch name is new color observe now created a pull request new color to the github guys you may get certain kind of doubt where we have added the remote repository link right while cloning while cloning itself we added this we added this if you are not cloning and trying to push directly you have to compulsory go the command compulsory go to the command this git space remote remote command you have to compulsory go through you have to compulsory through git remote command you have to use as here while explaining i have directly used the clone command along with the link so it is directly taken okay fine so this data now if you observe it has updated and it has created a pull request this is what we have seen in the previous session also now here if i refresh if i refresh if i refresh uh, you can observe Hmm. let me go for master here you got a kind of new color one one, one more branch is there yes that branch created pink color added yes okay guys it has created as a new branch now i will open the index.html i will check for the corresponding thing what what has modified bg color as pink if you want you can able to go for history i can check what has modified so far let me go for uh, let me check once again guys one minute here i got pull request for to which account you can observe here you can request to the same account you can request to the same account we are trying to pull right i can go for compare compare and if you want you can able to add some kind of comments for example pink color added go ahead that's fine we need to create one pull request we need to create one pull request from our end then what i will do you can you can just check here once again i can able directly merge the pull request confirm the merge confirm merge and go for code 
for code. We can observe here index.html. Pink color is added. Pink color is added. This is uh, what we can do directly. The thing is here the collaborate itself, collaborate itself is adding the code. This is because of we are not having any kind of protect permissions for this uh, folder. For this uh, main main folder, main branch, there is there are no permissions for the master. There are no protection for the master. That is why it is directly adding. But if there are any protections for this master, then they, that will act as a kind of a new pull request. Okay, fine. This is the way you can able to collaborate uh, your uh, local repository with the remote repository. If you want, you can able to pull the data. Git space, uh, simply I am going to make it as uh, full. One minute, uh, let me go with uh, here. Git space. Okay, it is, it is already up to date, so that's why it is updated. can go for you can check the list of branches here git space branch git space uh, i can check out it to master and it is it to master the bold color is uh, orange yes guys if i pull now you can observe grid space full. If you pull now, it will it will be converted to pink one. It will be updated to the latest one. This is the way you can able to give request from uh, local repository to remote repository with the help of a collaborator. Okay, I hope I hope it is clear for you. Thank you.